Hello everyone, welcome to The Long Dark. I'm Colonel RPG and I'm very happy to have you here hanging out with me as I play a little bit of this fantastic, absolutely amazing survival indie game uh, where we live in a world that has gone to ice and we try to survive in a vast and harsh and really, really cold Canadian landscape. It's a really beautiful game. It's a really challenging game as well. Today we're gonna play it because, well, Yesterday there was no Slaves to the Grind newscast because unfortunately Looter was not feeling too well and um, yeah, best wishes for him and hopefully he, get back, he gets back on his feet. Uh, but today we're going to play a little bit of Long Dark to make up for that guys. And this game, I just love it. It's developed of course by Hinterland, well for those of you who don't know, it's developed by Hinterland Studios. Uh, guys that uh, some guys that decided that they wanted to make a survival game without zombies without just constantly being on the lookout for you know the, what the next monster is gonna come around and whatever uh, and it's a game where you need to survive by any means necessary but that usually means just staying cold uh, just staying cold yeah no 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 not staying cold staying warm staying well fed and staying healthy just in surviving surviving the landscape and and I've played a bunch of this game I think I have like Upwards of 60 hours clocked on the game. Um, it's not my most time, my most played game of all time, sure. And I don't know all the nooks and crannies about the game, uh, but I know, I know, I know a little bit. I know enough to have some fun with you guys, like for half an hour right now. And um, if you want to join along, yeah, Colonel RPG is gonna play The Long Dark. So yeah, let's go into sta sandbox mode. The story mode is not out. I'm probably gonna play the story mode on the channel when it comes out. But the uh, sandbox box mode is basically where we go around collecting stuff and uh, crafting stuff and surviving and avoiding wolves as well, because there's wolves. So basically how it works is pilgrim mode, the wolves don't really attack you unless you attack them. Uh, Voyager, they kind of do. And Stalker, there's a few, there's also a few differences, a few more differences, like Stalker has uh, extra cold, there's a few more diseases, there's some new stuff that I haven't seen yet because I haven't played the game in a few months. Um, and Voyager is what we're gonna do with today because I wanna keep things interesting and I want to, um, and I wanna have a little bit of a challenge as well. Um, my favorite, where's, what's my favorite area? Well, Desolation Point is pretty cool, but it's really, really hard to start there. Uh, Pleasant Valley, I don't remember, actually, I don't think I've been to Pleasant Valley. I must have, because otherwise I wouldn't be here. It wouldn't be here. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Um, but I think my starting area is going to be Coastal Highway. Uh, I'm not going to start in Mystery Lake. I usually do, because it's a really, really good starting area. But since everybody plays there, I'm not going to play there. Just for your gu for you guys' sake. And Coastal Highway is a very good area as well. It's very large and... Uh, yeah. So today we're going to play as a female, because I never play as a female. And um, Colonel... RPG place. There we go. And a mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? Well, as if it's more than 50 days, then I'm satisfied with that. But we're probably not going to be able to get 50 days on this playthrough today. Uh, I might drop a uh, new episode here and there in the future. Ooh, we're in the gas station. This is amazing. This is just absolutely brilliant. So this is probably the the best place to start the um, this playthrough. This is just amazing. Oh my god, so much food. Mm, this is really good. I'm going to need to bring my mouse sensitivity down a little bit there. Um, yeah, but this is really, really good. So basically, we need to go around, collect a bunch of stuff. I'm going to collect all of this stuff. I'm going to drop it later. We got some flares. Which is our lifeline for right now. The first day, actually, I need to check the. Um, how do I do that? About five hours of daylight left. It's five hours. Okay, it's not too good actually, but it's gonna allow us to go around and uh, find a bunch of stuff. We got some beef jerky over here, candy bar. We got newspapers. Of course, we're not gonna read them. We're gonna burn them all because reading is for the weak. And uh, yeah, because we need we need warmth. And actually, how's our inventory situation? How's our pants and all of that? So we have, <clears throat> excuse me. So we have over here. It's looking. It's not looking too terrible, actually. Yeah, it's. I've seen worse. I've seen worse when I spawn into the game. We have a bad roll over here. I think we have one already. We have a down metal, a down jacket. I think it was. Some accelerant right there. I will. Ap I I do apologize though because I know all the game. I'm not letting you guys see the the items and all that. And in this game, it's very important to. Um, in this game, it's very important to um, be. Hasteful and uh, 
not waste any time when you're scavenging because you need to spend your time walking around this place. It's a walking simulator, essentially. Uh, this game where basically you, if you want to run you can run and actually in some instances running is very very crucial And I now have lights so you guys can see what we have over here. Let's see if I remember the keys Yes, I do. Oh, this this requires a little bit of fuel, don't it? Uh, let's see is that one a little bit better. No, it isn't. Okay, so let's look at tools here Let's see if I can uh, Refuel Ooh, I have I have that man a lot of fuel right there. That's pretty good. Okay, this is gonna allow us to uh, see in the dark, which is fantastic. I usually don't go with, I don't use too much of this um, when I'm playing by myself. But since you guys are here, I kind of want to let you see this uh, not quite so beautiful place. This is actually a garage, and yeah, it doesn't really have anything for us to hear. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you. It's, um, it's a central point in this map, so we are kind of in the perfect position. And since there are no wolves in the first day, oh, there's a radio there. <clears throat> It doesn't work. It doesn't work. We have... Do we have anything back down here? Okay, we have a spent can of uh, soup or something. Tomato soup, maybe. The game is a little bit chuggy. I think it might be because I'm recording or something. I can use Gotta, this. Yes, you can use that. Sometimes my character says stuff. But it's all good. She she doesn't... She does not... She's not unless she's going crazy. Unless she's going crazy, then, then you kind of need to pay attention to her. Um, it's a new thing that they added to the game, actually. Cabin Fever, but I think it only sets in, like, 50 days into the game or something. And, uh, yeah, only if you stay indoors. Because after a while, after you've got pretty much everything that you will need, the game kind of gets very, very repetitive. And, uh, I usually, I try not to get it to be repetitive, because I, I like exploring and all that. So, I have, uh, the, my longest playthrough, I think it was seven or something days. And I still only had explored, fully explored three maps. I think I was uh, on my way to my fourth map, and then I don't know what happened. I think YouTube happened, actually. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we're exploring this little garage here and seeing what we have. This is a very good spawn, but we're going to go outside right now. We got some gloves here, and that's pretty good. Actually, there might be a weapon in this thing. If there's a weapon, I'm not going to use it today. But actually, I'm going straight to a place that I know. We're not going to spend the night here. Uh, we're going to try and go... Let's see what we have. Are there weapons spawning in here? No, they would spawn over there, I, sh I think. Uh, so, nope. There are no weapons. We got a whetstone here, which is a pretty interesting as well. Pretty cool. And basically... Oh, did we come here? No, we did not. We got a, ri a rifle ammo and a line. Pretty good. We have a drawer here. And, of course, there's a workbench where you can make a bunch of stuff. And you might be wondering where I'm going to put all this crap. Well, I'm going to put it in one of these boxes. That's where I'm going to put it. But not for right now. For right now, I want to look around and make sure everything is good. Oh. Some tools right there. Man, the game is really chuggy. Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's, it's got to be because I'm recording. He doesn't like that I'm sharing it with you guys. He wants to be only for myself. Okay, let's get out this thing. And let's open this locker and see what we're going to drop. So, we have some healing supplies. I'm not going to need them right now. Uh, but I'm going to bring them nonetheless. Um, I'm going to try, actually. We should probably... The first thing I'm going to do today, tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I didn't have gloves. I didn't have a, a headwear. Okay. What I'm going to do tonight... A new insulated vest in the down vest here. I think this one is quite better than the one I have. So, yeah, just looking at the numbers. So, basically, there's two types of uh, temperature. There's the um, there's the wind temperature that it cools down. And there's the, uh, the real temperature. So, you need to be on the lookout for that as well. So, let's see. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to bring a little bit of food, but not a whole lot. Is that coffee? Is that coffee? That's coffee. Coffee is amazing. I'm going to keep it with me. I'm going to drop these. No, the rest can stay. I'm going to keep a couple of sodas. I don't think you can get... Uh, um, yeah, I'm going to bring a couple of sodas. Uh, I don't think you can get ill by uh, by drinking those, but I'm not really sure. i got a couple of accelerants that I'm going to bring with me. Um, some matches. I'll leave one of these. I'll leave both of these and the line and the pry bar. I'm going to... Oh, I can open it. With, oh, yeah, that's good. Um, I'm going to leave that, and I'm going to leave these yeah just one but actually I'm gonna leave th these up, up here because these are kind of worse uh, so I don't uh, maybe I need that I'm gonna bring it with me and the sewing kit here is gonna be very important so let's get this show on the road it's four hours of daylight left and um, yeah I want to open this no oh, it's not here 
I have a pry bar, so I'm gonna be able to open, open lockers. I don't think where we're going, we're gonna need the the, um, the pry bar, but yeah. Let's see. Opening this thing, we got another sewing kit. That's pretty good, and it got still salty crackers. Okay, let's put them in here because we don't need them for right now. I'm not gonna not gonna eat them. I am gonna need to make some some fire. By the way, let me look at that. Um, my fire situation. Yeah, I think it's. I think it should be okay. Yeah, let's go outside, guys. Leave the gas station. This is gonna be desolation. It's not a desolation point, but this is the cold Canadian seashore. Yep, we're right by the seashore. We got a uh, little car over here. It looks oh, we can open the hood. That's right. It doesn't really have anything. Let's go back here. Check out. All this, yeah, in here. Oh, you can see the the little icon down there. Of course, the wind is not blowing on our face anymore. So we got some um, some matches. We got some crackers. Checking these up here. Sometimes they have stuff. I have never personally seen it happen, but sometimes they do. Uh, and the oh, there's the prior bar. See, it it pays to come prepared. Now well, let's see how well it pays though. Nothing. Okay. Um, now where do I want to go? There's more houses. Did I came? Okay, I came from there. There's another car over there. I'm gonna go go to this house. Uh, I kind of wanted to see, to show you the uh, my favorite house in this place, but it's a little bit far away. Oh man, my voice! It's early in the morning for me. We were gonna record slips to the grind, and and Wooder mailed me that uh, he's feeling too sick. And yeah, my voice is kind of a little rough on the rough side. We got a fridge here with some water. That's pretty good. You can also check the um, like the toilet reservoirs, whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, oh boy. There we go. Much better. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, but Luther mailed me that, um, and he wasn't feeling too well. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's gonna be fine, don't worry. Uh, but yeah, you can, um, you can, uh, get some water from the toilet reservoirs. I don't know the name of those things, actually. But yeah, so, I'm... Yeah, we're not gonna get that right away because water in the beginning is not really that important uh, Especially not that one that you can get at any time and I, I actually like to leave them leave that water right there Just in case of an emergency like if you're running for a wolf from a wolf or a bear because there's bears in this game uh, Hello lady um, ooh. Oh man the chugs the chugs are powerful. I think they made a new um, ooh, Some mittens pretty cool. I think they made a new um, a new uh, Lighting system now. I'm gonna Shut off, shut off the the light so you can see the low light conditions. They changed it, and it looks very nice. At least from the screenshots, it looks amazing. So yeah, not really seeing it right now. Ooh, some trousers. That's really good. Those trousers are those trousers are awesome. Man, we're getting we're basically all we're all we're needing is a is a rifle. And actually, in this situation, actually, I don't know where the rifle is in this map. I don't remember. Yeah, that's the toilet. What's the name? Uh, portable? No, nah, doesn't say. Okay, get that. Ooh, yeah, we can get stuff from that towel. We can basically get tissue. Not tissue. Oh, what's the name? Cloth. Yeah. That's the one. Check in here. Sometimes there's stuff, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's just my Vampire Bloodlines experience from getting pills from the, from the, from the, um, from the, uh, yeah, you can see it's, it looks way better now. Um, from the, uh, shower stall. Is that... Is that what it is? Shower stall? I think it is. Anyway, let's go to that um, nice place that I was talking to you about. Uh, talking about. Um, there's something over there. I think it might be just a dead carcass of a deer or something. Or a carcass of a dead deer, I should say. So yeah, let's go over there. Let me get this thing out. Let's get some, um, some sticks as well, because we're going to need to make a fire. And sticks are going to be crucial for that. Sticks are actually very, very good. For just making fires. They are a little bit of a pain in the ass to collect. And actually a little bit of a pain in the ass to, to carry around. But apart from that, I mean, they're very, very good. Uh, of course, if you can get your hands on some fir wood or firewood. Mm, we could get, actually. You could get some, I think, in those in those uh, fishing cabins. I think I'm going to get it. So where I want to go, where I want to go is that way. Look at the sun. It's different now. Huh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so this is a base. This is the sea, actually. This is the sea, I think. Because if you go out uh, behind that really tall, weird island right there, if you go out there, you can you can uh, actually fall onto the ice. And I don't think this is a lake. This might be a sea. It might be like in Alaska or something. I don't actually know. There's a deer over there. Look at that. I don't have a gun, though, so I would kill him. 
actually, uh, food at the beginning of the game is not that big of a deal. Uh, you can you can fast yourself in this game, and actually that's totally fine. You can eat like 800 calories without any issue whatsoever. Uh, the game really, if, if you want to stay well fed, the game the game really kind of forces you to uh, eat like 200, 2,000, 2,500 uh, calories a day, depending on your activity during the day. So you can, you know, if you um, stay inside or if you fish all day, because you can fish from here, uh, you're not going to eat as, as, you're going to need to eat as much, but it depends on your exhaustion, because there's different meters and all that. You can see that already we're kind of peckish. Let's see what we can, we can get from here. Hopefully, oh, some... Um, uh, what was that? I don't remember the name of that. And we got an energy bar right there. Newspaper roll. Uh, I was kind of hoping for some firewood, really. We should get some later, but i mm, not sure. Not sure. Yeah, no firewood. Let's go around. It would be a good a good thing to... Uh, if I had a means to make fire, or to make good fire anyway, uh, I could... I could oh, I, I do. If I wanted to, I do, but I don't need that. Actually, let's look at the cold. Uh, what's the temperature here? Feels like minus 12 centigrade, um, minus 13 now. Yeah, it's all good, it's fine. We stayed inside for a bunch of time and you can see already that we're like 30% through our temperature, or body temperature. Uh, and it's really, really nasty to stay outside. Actually, I think I don't think I'm doing this properly. Because I have, I think I have some, um, I think, yeah, that one is a little bit better. This one is definitely better. The mittens are definitely better. The pants are not. And these are mm, better. Yeah, as, as your uh, as your clothing degrades, it works not as good. So yeah, we're gonna spend the night sealing up our. What? Shut up! What is she saying? Oh yeah, she says she's chilled. Yeah, she's going crazy a little bit now. It's fine. It's chilled. It's cool. She's chill. She's all cool. She's all fine. She doesn't mind that. I mean, she's kind of freaked out the fact by the fact that apparently everybody's dead. And, but she she should be she should be okay right now. She hasn't seen anybody dead yet, which probably will happen in in this game because it does happen. There's corpses lying around. I kind of that thing right there that could be a corpse. I don't think the one the 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 carrion birds that we saw before. I think those are crows uh, or ravens. Um, I think don't, uh, those don't weren't from a dead body of a person. They were for a dead body of a deer. But this one actually no, it's a deer as well. Actually, this is a it's a good find. But sometimes you can get oh feathers. Yeah, feathers is, are cool. Oh, they changed them now. Yeah, but this one is frozen, and I don't have uh, anything to uh, to uh, open it with. Yeah, actually, that might be a bad thing. I was kind of hoping we'd find some, but no, we didn't. We didn't. At least not right now. It's all good. Doesn't matter. We still have a few hours on the next day to. Um, so I'll have a, a few hours on the next day to um, to explore without wolves. And then after wolves have, I have a flare here. They are afraid of flares. So it is all awesome. Let's also look at my carried weight. I think it's at 16. That's pretty good. Let's bring out the lantern here. Man, we've, got, we've already gone through a bunch of our fuel. That's pretty nasty. Got a flare here. That's okay. Those are, those are going to be very, very important. I tend not to use flares too, too often. Uh, but I also tend to screw up too often, and uh, yeah, it doesn't go too well. But I oh, a downski jacket. That's amazing. That's really really good because that one is not the best jacket in the game. I don't think. No, no, it's not definitely not the best. The best one you need to craft yourself. You can make it out of deer fur or something. Yeah, not really. Don't really remember now. The game kind of tells you. The game does a good job of telling you what you need to do and all that. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Although I do wish that um, you could. I don't know. It's crafting. The crafting system has been being de being developed for uh, for a long while now, and uh, it, it used to be that you couldn't even craft anything. Um, well, apart from like torches and fishing lines or whatever. Uh, we have here a pry bar. I was hoping for a machete or something, but there's no machetes in this game. Let's go. Ooh, yeah, some more sticks. That's very nice. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, it's not here. It's not here. It's over there. It's so far away. We're going to go there. Yeah, that's my favorite place in the game. In the wall game, that's my favorite place. It's a very nice, cozy home. Very, very pretty. The first time I saw it, I was like, what the hell? This is amazing. Because I've been playing this game since the, this map wasn't here. So, yeah, so... Uh, when I saw that, I was like, I was totally blown away, because it's a really, really pretty spot. And uh, there's Karen here. Oh, they're going away now. Okay, it's all good. I don't think... Oh, no, that's not a body. I don't think they were actually here, because they never leave there's a body. I don't think. 
Oh, look at how pretty it is. <laughs> I raise you my matches, game. You shall not have me tonight. No, I have matches to protect myself from. I'm not afraid of the dark. I, yeah, in this, you, sh you cannot be too afraid of the dark in this game. You can go outside in the dark. It's not a big problem. Usually, especially if you use, uh, if you use um, flares, it's not going to be an issue. The cold, you should be afraid of the cold. Yeah, afraid of the cold is the name of this game. It's not the long dark. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's not about the fear of the dark, it's the fear of the cold. It's the long cold here. That's the problem. That's the real problem. But yeah, we're, we're going over there. You can see that I'm not running. You can run, and running now, and I will run, actually, because we're going to need to spend a little bit of, of uh, sleepy time tonight. Because, I mean, maybe not. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Going out in the early hours of the morning is not too good either. What is that? Oh, that's a deer. Okay. Is it? No, it's that guy! Okay, she's not gonna panic. She's fine. Let's see what this dead guy has. Uh, his name is James. Kinda looks like a James, doesn't he? He, uh, he had some fuel lantern. Or lantern fuel. Two fuel lantern? Yeah, my, my words. Uh, the night is falling. What's the... Oh, uh, we still have one hour of the day left. Mmm... Or you can see that I was already feeling numb. So, numb? Is it with a B? I don't, it, it has a B. I just don't know if you pronounce the B. I don't think you do. Numb would be the, the word. Let's get out this thing. Uh, having torches, having... Um, I think this also heal, uh, hits you up a little bit. But now... And, uh, yeah, that's a new thing. If you run, your body temperature goes up a little bit. I don't... I I saw that in the uh, changes, but I still haven't seen it for myself. I saw it in the patch changes. Patch notes, whatever. And it got landed uh, a few days ago, I think. Or at least, at least a few days ago. So... Oh, man. It's really dark. Should be okay, guys. We're not afraid of the dark, as I said. And I know where I'm going. And I have a trusty lantern. Do I know where I'm going? Do I know where I'm going? I don't. Oh, I do. Do I? Eh. I don't like these houses. That one is better. I think that's the one. It's not. It's not, though. These are not the nice ones. I like the other one so much. I don't know where it is. I don't remember. But this one is pretty. Yeah. Let's go in here. Let's spend the night... Doing nighty stuff. And welcome to a fishing cabin. Oh, don't need to sprint in here. Okay, getting some food. I will eat very soon. Actually, I don't really need to eat before I go to sleep. Because I'm going to start the game by fasting myself. And we got a couple of lockers here, which is also pretty good. Because it will allow us to, to store our stuff. If we want to. That's pretty interesting. That's pretty good. Okay, so we got a lot of... of, of um, What's the name? Clothes. <laughs> clothes. We have a lot of clothes here. So let's get that one and see what we have. Nothing. Okay. So let's get on for the night. Okay. So uh, I am going to need... So yeah, it's all fine. What's the um, dry mouth peckish winded? Winded is the energy. Everything is good on that one, I think. So I'm going to sleep here. Uh, we are we kind of have access to pretty much everything here. So let's see. I basic gloves there. I'm gonna need to repair these once. Let's repair. Actually, I I'm gonna need some cloth because I don't have that much. Can I get that from curtains? Yes. Let's uh, tear on these curtains. Ten minutes to get two. That sounds like a good uh, exchange. Yeah, that one. More curtains here. Ten more minutes. Break them down. It's gonna be very important. You can see the calories going down as well. Uh, we might not eat for the night, actually. We're gonna drink a little bit, and, you know, I, I do have water, though. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's right. You need to pick them off from the floor. Yeah, they don't get into your inventory. They drop. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have enough. We're definitely gonna have enough. So these are looking good. I'm not gonna repair them. This one... Oh, look at that. That one's good. This one needs some repairs. This one doesn't need... Oh, it's a brand new! New down jacket. Oh boy, that's amazing. This is a really good start for the game. It's fantastic. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, so let's um, repair that. And we have a 54%. No, actually, that's the repair amount. It didn't used to tell you, did it? No, it does. It does. It just doesn't tell you. That's You're going to see that we're going to fully repair this. It doesn't tell you what's the maximum, maximum amount or the maximum repair amount that you can get. So... You can, you can try to optimize your stuff. The chance of success is 80%, and that's good. Each time you repair... Uh, oh, I failed. Uh, each time you successfully repair uh, an item, uh, you get, gain 1%. Basically, you're, you have skills in this game. And there we go. Increase to 61. So now we're going to be a little bit better at repairing this stuff. Uh, this is going to require... Uh, 
uh, yeah, it's gonna require these, and I, we don't have that. Although, if I, d if I had more boots, I could, I could get that. Uh, also, I'm gonna repair my, uh, socks, because, you know, having nice, good, oh, I heard something outside. I heard something outside, guys, you heard that? I definitely heard that. Let's repair, do I want you to be repaired, or do I want this to be, I want this to be repaired. This one is better. This one's way better. It's more, plus one uh, degree for each. Okay. Yeah, you can tell now. It's way, way better than this basic wool hat. This one is Canadian style. Yeah, there we go. Um, so I am gonna... I'm gonna drop a bunch of this stuff, actually, because I don't need that. Let's lock... Let's uh, drop all of it here. I am gonna bring... Yeah, these are, these are light enough. Let's drop that. I'm not gonna need that, but I'm gonna... I'm not gonna need that. I know the map enough uh, where I am fine with that. I'm gonna bring a book to burn, of course. Uh, ain't nobody got time to read in this wilderness. We need to survive! And uh, condensed milk. That is actually quite good. I'm gonna drop these in here. I'm gonna have to come back later to get them. But most of this stuff is not needed for right now, so it's all fine. It's all perfectly fine. New granola bar. It says new. Why is it new? Is it because it's on... No, I don't know why it is. Is it because I haven't looked at it in the, um, in the, um... It might be because I haven't looked at it in the, um, inventory. It might be just what it is. Get a few of these. Actually, I don't need that many. Transfer... No, I don't need any of these, actually. Uh, let's get a few in there. And the... We don't have that much drinking stuff. I'm gonna keep that... I'm gonna drink that orange soda, actually. It's not my favorite. Orange soda is always very... Yeah, I don't like it. I don't really like it. Okay, two pry bars. That's that's some heavy stuff right there. <laughs> one kilogram each. Mm -hmm. Okay, so get these. I'm gonna bring that one. Uh, I don't need that one. I'm gonna drink these two. And yeah, d drinking is very very important. Eating not so much, but drinking is very important. So if you can help it, drink as much as possible. Uh, water purification tablets. I'm not gonna need them. I'm really not gonna need them. I'm gonna bring the water. And let's drink and sleep for the night. So, where's that? It is over there. Drink. Mm -hmm. And where it is now? Does it tell me? Does it tell me how my thirst is looking? Well, it doesn't. It tells me if I look. Sweet carbohydrated drink full of high fructose corn syrup. Which is very good. Also for my um, food, which is perfect. And I will drink another one. Should I drink another one? I'm going to sleep for a little bit. For five hours should be enough and um, yeah I think we're also out of time for this first episode it's been a day it's been a lot of fun this was a very very good spawn on this map I never spawned on this map I spawned once on this map and I actually didn't play for very long I'm gonna dr drink a little bit more but as I said we're kind of out of time so let's sleep until the morning uh, so we have four hours of daylight left let's see for five and see the new day on this post apocalypse of ice I woke up fully rested before daytime. Oh, joy of joys. Let's get out the lantern and, uh, yeah. It's time to say goodbye now, guys. It's time to say goodbye. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been, of course, The Long Dark. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly have. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel. You're probably not, not new here, but if you are, welcome, welcome, welcome. Subscribe to the channel. I play a lot of RPGs. Not really Long Dark, but if you want me to, if you want me to play this game in a Let's Play series or something, well, you might as well uh, just leave a comment down below. Yeah, say, say what you feel. And uh, I hope I'll see you some other time. Bye-bye.